Hey everyone and welcome to Mantova. Now we're just at the Monster Energy Yamaha MXGP team and I thought it would be interesting for you guys to take a look inside and look at the team setup to see what it's like over a GP weekend. Uh, this is the team of Jeremy Sewer, Glenn Holdenhoff and Ben Watson. Uh, a special place here in Mantova for all three riders. Obviously Jeremy Sewer is coming here off the back of his second GP victory in Arco. We saw Ben Watson on the box here in MX2 last year. He also picked up best MXGP overall at the Nations and Glenn Holdenhoff was also on the box here as well. So a nice weekend here for the, for the guys, a special GP. Now let's take a look at the setup here. Now you can see the numbers, Jeremy Sewer 91. Glenn Coltonoff 259 and over here Ben Watson 919 and this is the order it goes up in order of the number that's their workspace here so you've got Jeremy Sewer 91 259 and Ben Watson so it's in order of their numbers here you've only got the work bikes just to provide more space for the mechanics to work just the work bikes are here on display we have Manu there working on the bike preparing for the final two GPs Manu hello Show us your uh, little workstation here. What's in these drawers? Anything interesting? This, this is my office. Right. All tools. Everything I need. It looks complicated, here. but... No, it's okay. It's just uh, some T-bars, yeah. drill machine, and um, French keys. Yeah. And nice. All the rest is here. Screwdrivers. Cool. Corner, caliper. Cool. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, ask you what no, this can. is for because yep. we don't have all day. But uh, <laughs> this is all what I need to prepare the bike. Exactly. So we'll leave you to it because I know you're busy. The yep. final two GPs. Keep up Thank the good you. work. And I'm going to show you what's happening behind the scenes here. People don't usually see this this part of a, a race setup, so it's actually really interesting. Obviously, this is the place to be. You've got the speakers. This is it adds atmosphere to the team and it motivates the mechanics when they're working. I mean, it's kind of like not many people are here. It's a bit more of a relaxing vibe today. So it, uh, it adds a good atmosphere to the team. Um, let's have a look here. These are the spare bikes. They don't work on these bikes over the weekend, by the way. They're just here in case they need them. Uh, tires, spare space there. And here, this is pretty interesting. Each rider, has their own like little room, their little space. So this is Jeremy Sewers. And through here, you have a look. It's just a space where the riders can change, get in the mood for the race and prepare. And it's nice for them to have their own space. And obviously Glenn and also Ben have theirs as well. Okay, and in here, uh, you've got the technical room. And I'm not even gonna attempt to explain the technical stuff that's in there, but uh, that's the technical room. You've also got a washing machine in there as well, because obviously with these triple headers, double headers, the guys need time to, they need to wash their clothes. So that's been added for this season. So you've got the washing machine there. Obviously the room for the guys. Um, here, uh, Vitaly uh, Tonkov, the team manager. This is his office space. Uh, where he'll have team meetings, chat to the riders and potential sponsors and everything. Um, this is nice, very professional. Uh, so we're just showing everyone around the team and, and your setup here in Mantova. It's um, how are you feeling as the team manager in the final two rounds of the year? Yeah, it's crazy, crazy season, and uh, we're quite uh, happy with the results from uh, last three races. Yeah. And uh, sure, we are motivated uh, for the last two rounds and we are hoping uh, to be in the podium. So we are not fighting for a championship for top three, yeah. but uh, if we will be on the podium the last two rounds, we will be happy. And I was just saying to everyone that actually here in Mantova is a special GP for many of the riders, isn't it? They have special memories here, don't they? Yeah, we have already this year uh, MX Nations. Yeah. So for some riders, maybe it will be some close uh, already feeling uh, mm -hmm. from last uh, race. And, uh, yeah, it's, you can never predict in the amount no, of uh, no. what will be result, especially with the guys now in front, they are so fast yeah. and uh, 
yeah, they are more than the same speed and uh, yeah, we, we will see, we will give okay. our best. Uh, yeah, well, best. exactly, we'll try and enjoy the last few rounds. I'll leave you to it because I can see you're pretty busy and you can take that phone call, don't mind me. Let's go and take a look at the most important part of the team. And this is where, um, if I poke my head in, I often say, can I have a coffee? Uh, this is just the hospitality area, obviously. It speaks for itself, it's where the riders will just kind of recharge, regroup, have coffee. You've got the seating areas here. And just behind behind me up here is this is the TV area and throughout the uh, throughout the GP weekend you can watch the races there. They've got all the results, the timing screens, and so it's where parts of the teams, the families, sponsors, anyone here will watch that. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the setup for the Monster Energy Yamaha MXGP team. I'm going to be a bit cheeky and ask if I can have a coffee, uh, but yeah, hopefully they'll have a great two, two rounds.